Hey, good morning, Math 7 students. Hey, we're going to get started right away. Um, so far, up year to date, this will be your toughest con of the year so far. Um, there's a lot of thought that goes into this one. So let's get started. Um, going through one example problem, but you're definitely going to want to check your answers with me. All right. Elsa's backyard has a 6 by 2, 5 by 6 by 2, 5 patio. Hey, whenever I have tough problems, I like to label my, my thing. So... Every side of his patio, his current patio, is 6.25 by 6.25. She would like to build a 1.5 meter extension around all, around three sides of the patio. So she wants to build this extension. She wants to build this extension here. And then she wants to build this extension here as well. So all three sides. And I labeled the sides. We knew that this was 6.25, and she wants to build a 1.5 extension. Another 6.25 to this red line and a 1.5 extension. But this one is not 6.25 because it's got to go all the way out to here. And if we have 1.5 going extension here and a 1.5 going this way, that's a total of three more meters going out that way. So uh, 6.25 plus three more meters would be 9.25. So the length of this one is 9.25 times 1.5. So, hold on, I'm about to sneeze. Actually, excuse me. Okay. Now, I wonder how many square meters she needs. So, what we're going to do is we're going to take this side. 6.25 times 1.5 is 9.375. The other side is also 6.25 times 1.5. And then we have the long one, the 9.25 times 1.5, which is 13.875. If we add that all up together, that is 32.625 square meters. So I wanted to give you a visual of what a square meter looks like. This box here is one meter long by one meter long. Okay, so a square meter makes up a square. Now, each tile that she's going to buy is 0.25 by 0.25 meters. So 0.25 of a meter, you might realize, is just this little portion right here. It goes one-fourth of the way this direction and one-fourth of the way this direction. So that's how big a tile is. That's one tile. Okay, so to fill up a, a one square meter, you can see we would need four going this way, and then we would need four going this direction as well. So that makes a grand total of 16 tiles. So it takes 16 of these tiles to make one square meter. Okay, well, that's a lot of thinking. So let's think about what this is. There's 25 of these little tiles per package. So we know that 0.25 times 0.25, if we put that in a new calculator, would equal 0 0.0625 of a meter. Okay, And we know that it takes 25 of those square meters. By the way, 0 0.0625 is the area of this meter, that little portion right there. Okay, Well, we need 25 of those tiles to make up one package. And that comes out to a total of 1.5625, so just over one and a half of these, okay? Since we need 32.625 square meters, and one package is only 1.5625 square meters, we need to take this amount divided by that amount to get to 20.88. So the question becomes, how many packages do we need to buy? Well... They won't sell you a partial package. They won't say, oh, we'll give you a 0.88 of a package. You need to buy an entire package. So we always have to round up in this situation. So we would need to buy 21 packages. At this point, if you're going, wow, this seems really hard, it is. This one's a little bit harder. And so definitely make plans to come see me um, so I can help you through all these. Um, I'm here to help you guys. Just be patient with me because everyone's going to be asking me for help on this one. But we'll get there together. So, guys, have a great day, and let's get through this one together. And then I think we are on to our quiz and our test coming up. Thanks a lot, guys. Bye-bye.